Six Long Island communities have been identified as badly in need of pedestrian safety upgrades. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports those communities are all working class neighborhoods lacking some basic safety measures. Crossing the street in Hempstead can be treacherous. Crosswalks are often faded and hard for drivers to see, if they're at all. It's scary for the children that have to cross the street, just anybody, you know. It's kind of scary, especially when you see traffic speeding through. Here in Roseville, too, Adrian Bailey sees constant crashes at this busy intersection with no traffic light or crosswalks. This intersection is beyond dangerous. You have traffic coming from the charter school down there. You have trucks pulling up from the deli there, the deli here, a lot of landscaping trucks. We're missing crosswalks. We're missing lights in some areas. I'm also missing just having a timer that's up there. Where there are walk signals, there's often too little time to cross. These are working class neighborhoods lacking safety features wealthier communities take for granted, says Vision Long Island. We need to get them into working class communities so everyone can be safe. Everyone who's walking, everybody who's biking, uh, there's no need for high speed crashes in the middle of downtown. So anywhere, we know better. The nonprofit conducted walk audits and found a disturbing pattern. Six lower income communities have pedestrian safety flaws. You can see Garden City's tree canopy, which encourages slower driving. In next door Hempstead, fewer trees, wider roads. Street trees do tend to calm drivers down. They go a little more slowly, a little more cautiously. Wider lanes, wider roads allow drivers to go faster and feel comfortable going faster. Not safe. Vision Long Island says there's an opportunity now with state and federal grants for better engineering. We all want to live, so, you know, safety should be something across the board, regardless of what community you come from. Community leaders say they're pleased for some of these safety improvements have gone unanswered for years. They'll now use the Vision Long Island study as more evidence. In Roosevelt, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Pedestrian deaths nationwide climbed to more than 7,400 people last year. That's a 12% increase from the year before.